you end up making an interesting move because here, here you are, uh, you're essentially on the other side of broke, skateboarding or skating. This is a career looks like, or the sport just kind of looks like it's uh, going under, sponsorships are going away. Why decide to start your own company uh, amid all of that? Um, I wanted to continue to be in the skate industry and I wanted to do something on my own. The, the skate companies um, at that time, they started shifting their their direction and their marketing. And it was more about, it was less about look at how good our skaters are. It was more about look how lame all you other companies are. Hmm. And I thought, why can't we just promote good skating? And I decided that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna create my own team. So I handpicked some of the best riders then and said, look, we're gonna make this thing. It's not what everyone else is doing. It's gonna be based on, we're gonna highlight you guys and your amazing skills and not worry about what everyone else is doing. Um, and so that's when I took my biggest risk for sure. I, 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 pretty much all the money I had saved at the time, I dumped into starting a company. And you created the company uh, Birdhouse. Birdhouse Skateboards, yeah. How personally gratifying was it the first time the company actually made a profit? <laughs> um, to be honest, uh, the company struggled for about two years and we almost gave up twice. Um, there was a time when my partner and I both said, we may have to just throw in the towel. This isn't, this isn't work. We're barely covering salaries. In 1995, the first X Games happened and it was very strange and experimental and a little disjointed. You know, it was like we were highlighted with bungee jumping and sky surfing and skateboarding. I didn't know what the connection was, but mm -hmm. they said it was extreme. So. Right. Okay, whatever, whatever it takes to be, you know, back in competition, that was fine with me. And, and, I, and I got back in. I, I started competing again. Um, the very next year of X Games is when we saw Birdhouse start to take off. And that was the moment of validation for us both. We're like, we endured this because we believed in it. And we, we hoped and almost expected skating to come back and, and to come back in full swing. But we thought it would happen sooner. And now we're on top because, you know, we, we have one of the best teams. We had placed ourselves at a, as a brand at a time when skating was very small. So it, was, it wasn't hard to get noticed. And then as skating came back in the upswing, we were sitting on top because we had established ourselves there. We're doing the interview from uh, your offices. What, what's housed in this building? Uh, well, this building uh, is, this is Tony Hawk Incorporated. It houses Birdhouse Skateboards, um, Tony Hawk Foundation, our foundation for public skate parks. Uh -huh. uh, TH Events, which we do exhibitions. We do the Boom Boom Huck Jam Tour. Um, we do, you know, this, this ramp is portable. We take it around the world and, and skate on it for big crowds. Um, we have 900 Films, which does film production. Um, we have our own YouTube channel, Ride Channel, uh, which is all skate content. And uh, other than that, a lot of design and a lot of um, scheduling here. Now you own companies that market clothes, shoes, films, skateboards, gear, events. You're involved in retail, video games, uh, obviously. How about the work that is most personally satisfying that your businesses do? The stuff that I, that I is closest to my heart is, is doing the foundation um, for public skate parks. And um, basically we try to help to fund public skate parks in low income areas where there's a lot of at risk youth that maybe don't have much outlets for, for activities, um, but choose to skateboard and, and don't have many support in doing so. Um, and there are way more than people imagine. Uh, you know, people uh, choose to skate everywhere. And so our foundation gives communities resources and funding um, and, and the tools to get a park going in their, in their area. And uh, to date, we've given away over $4 million. We've helped to fund over 500 skate parks. And um, going to the old grand openings that I, I've only attended a, a number of them, like a handful of them, but um, seeing the faces and seeing the, the excitement and the, the validation of their own efforts, because we try to empower the communities that have already got the ball rolling. It's not like we just wave a magic wand and decide which city gets a park. We actually want them to feel like they have ownership of it. Um, and to go to the grand openings and see the faces of the kids, is, that's the best.